Hello everyone, my name is Chinwe Russell and today I am in my studio in Doncaster, South Yorkshire uh, and I will be talking about a very uh, special art movement which I really like. Why do I like this art movement? I like it because it represents for me true freedom, uh, freedom of expression, a nomad's artistic land landscape where there are no roots, uh, a place where you can let your imagination run wild, a place where you can be who you want to be and you can paint what you want to paint most, uh, most importantly. Friends, welcome to Four Visit, a place where colour is king. Now, the story began in the autumn of 1905 when a very special art exhibition took place in Paris. This exhibition was called the Salon d'Automne, which basically means the autumn exhibition. Um, and um, this exhibition had only been uh, inaugurated two years previously. Um, and it was considered a rebel exhibition at the time because they were rebelling against a much bigger exhibition. Uh, and this much bigger exhibition was called the Paris Salon. It seems that the history of art is all about rebellion, sort of. One school of thought uh, reacting against uh, the principles of another, or one group rebelling against the previous group, and so on. That in itself is a whole other story. During this exhibition of 1905, uh, a group of revolutionary uh, young artists were present. Uh, and these artists were uh, Henri Matisse, you know where I'm going now, uh, Matisse. Uh, another gentleman, another artist called um, André Doran. You had Albert Maquette, you had Maurice uh, de Vlamic, you have Kies van Dongen, not quite sure how you pronounce that. You have uh, Charles Camois and Jean Puy. They too had their works on exhibition alongside some big name artists of the time. Now this is where the story really gets interesting. Uh, during this exhibition, a certain gentleman uh, attended uh, the exhibition as well. He was an art crit critic and his name was uh, Louis Vauxel. Uh, when Louis arrived at the exhibition and he saw the bold, bright, in your face uh, colors of the works of Matisse, all your greens and vivid blues and, and your reds and, and, and your purples. Um, he was completely taken aback and he burst out with what is now a famous uh, exclamation. And, and this is what he said, Donatello, che le fauve. This simply means Donatello among the wild beasts because le fauve is the French term for beast. He probably felt um, that the strokes and the colors of the works of Matisse and his friends uh, were, were, were very wild uh, out of the ordinary. And so, my friend, the term Fauvism was born on that day. So, shortly afterwards, the comment made by the art critic Louis uh, Vauxel was printed in a daily uh, newspaper. And from there, the term Fauvism passed into general usage. The pictures of the works of Matisse and his friends uh, received a huge amount of condemnation. They were simply verbally massacred. Uh, a bit like what you find after the summer exhibition uh, at the Royal Academy of Art in, in London when uh, certain members of the press uh, um, amuse themselves 
uh, in critiquing quite heavily in, in some cases uh, the exhibition and some of the, the, the works that you find there. Uh, their style of work uh, was likened to a, a pot of paint flung in your face. Um, what's interesting though is that we have a vast amount of abstract artists these days who literally fling pots of paint onto their canvases uh, today. Could that perhaps be the effect of Fauvism? A desire to catch a certain wildness, uh, a savagery of emotion, uh, of emotions at uh, its most basic uh, form. Now, the critics uh, were quite brutal, literally. Um, I cannot begin to imagine how Matisse and, uh, and his friends, uh, this emerging artist, would have felt at the time. Uh, they would have probably worked really hard, uh, really hard on, them, on preparing for this exhibition as every artist uh, uh, does. Uh, and to find uh, themselves uh, criticised uh, uh, like this and their work critiques must have been really probably uh, uh, devastating. Reading this story reminds me each time of how vulnerable artists are in the face of public critique of their work, often uh, without regard uh, of the thought process behind the creation of the works. Uh, in my capacity as Exhibition Director of Dunkers Art Fair, I have on many, many uh, occasions calmed down many hyperventilating artists, uh, terrified of the thought of showing their work in public for, for the first time. I myself have been in, uh, in that position, uh, my very first exhibition, I hyperventilated for three hours, so it's not an easy thing to open yourself to, to criticism, but you, you get used to it. Uh, and also in my own case, I exhibited one of my works in York uh, once, uh, and during that exhibition, um, a woman uh, walked up to my stand and said to me, uh, she, she pointed at uh, uh, one of the images um, that I had uh, on, my, uh, on my stand, and she said, do you really think that someone will hang this piece on their wall? Each time I think of that moment, I remember this uh, exhibition of 1905 and I feel the pain of Matisse and his friends. Now, Mantis and his friends, undeterred by the heavy critique, um, went on to collecti uh, collectively exhibit uh, their works on two for that occasions, as if in defiance um, at the critiques. These two exhibitions, these two further exhibitions were the year afterwards, which was in 1906. Mantis, as we know, uh, as we all know, um, came today, he's quite a famous artist in case you don't know, uh, went on to have a hugely, hugely successful, uh, successful career uh, he, he, as an artist. He worked in different media, uh, sculpture, collage, um, uh, print, um, and, and he had, you know, a lot of, uh, quite, a, quite a few big uh, rich sponsors, people who really supported his work. So in spite of that critique of 1905, um, uh, or perhaps because of that critique of 1905, uh, it brought his work uh, to the public consciousness uh, and, and made, made him who, who he is today. Um, now, I have spent quite uh, a long time talking about Fauvism and showing you uh, a few works which are related uh, uh, to that, including some of my work uh, behind here. Um, and I've you know, sort of told you a little bit about the origin uh, of Fauvism. You might now be wondering 
what is it all about or perhaps not uh, because uh, you would have seen some of the images uh, which form part, part of this presentation. Formative is a very simple concept. It is about freedom. Uh, freedom to use any bold, bright color um, that you want, to paint anything that you want, irrespective of whether it is true to form or not. Formative is a movement uh, where, the artist, uh, where the artist at the time felt free from what is accepted as art. Um, you know, you have, <laughs> you have certain people who think certain things are not art. But Forbes did away with that. This was a group of young artists who felt, this is what we wanted to do. We want to express ourselves in color. Uh, and, they, and, they, and they did exactly that. Uh, so Forbes emphasized painterly qualities, which means that you can see the brush strokes. Unlike the Impressionism uh, movement, Forbes had more, much more wilder brush strokes, maybe bigger and longer ones, so it, it, it didn't matter whether it was perfect, uh, whether perfect or, or not. And also it's character characterized by very, very strong use of colour, which is why I'm wearing uh, very bright, this is the brightest colour I could find um, in, my, uh, in my wardrobe. Um, as opposed to a, a realistic representation of the subject, uh, that they are painting and um, in the mindset of the four of the four like they became known the, the four uh, which is the beasts uh, everything was permitted um, and that my fair my friends is a short uh, introduction to this really fascinating art movement uh, which has defined quite a lot of things especially the use of color uh, in, in the art world today uh, and it has also inspired many artists of today in their bold and confident use of colour. Um, there are many, many uh, artists around the world who, use, um, who, who are inspired by Fauvism. And one of my favourite ones is an art, uh, an, uh, a French artist called Alice de Miramont. Uh, she's a friend of mine, I've exhibited with her. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, at, the, at the end of this presentation some of her work. Um, there are also some uh, um, some local artists uh, who are embracing the wild and exciting use of colour in their work. One of those people is myself, obviously, because I, I paint uh, uh, with a lot of bold colours. And basically, when I create a piece of work, I always ask myself, what colours haven't I used? And my question is always, you know, have I used every colour possible? It doesn't matter if they, if they match or not. Uh, there is also one Don Casabay's artist whose recent body of work has really caught my attention and uh, they are just stunning. And that artist is Kim Fa. Uh, she has created the most fascinating collection using the wildest colour you can, <laughs> you can imagine and uh, some of which I'm going to show you. I think the folks would have been really very proud of her and hopefully they would have been proud of me too. Um, I would like to leave you with a few images of artworks uh, which fit into this uh, movement uh, so that when next you visit an exhibition you'll be confident enough uh, to, to be in, inspired by the movement uh, and to, to talk about art in general um, because that is what this video is all about. And finally, I would like to say a big thank you to Doncaster Council uh, for this wonderful opportunity uh, through the Fighting Back Fund and to all the artists who have participated in this project. Uh, and we, Doncaster is just a fabulous place for the arts, um, well, aside from the, the lockdown which has sort of uh, stopped everything in its, in its tracks. There are a lot of art organizations uh, who are resident and working here, lots of artists working here, and we have a lot of events. So please do, to, do come to our event uh, when everything returns to normal. You have the Mothership, as I call them, we have casts, uh, you have the Point Gallery, you have Doncaster Art Fair, which I run, you have the New Fringe, a wonderful art organization, and you have so, so many others. Uh, you have the Doncaster Art Club. So feel free, uh, obviously you have the Doncaster Museum, uh, the Dana Museum, as it's going to be known when we finish doing that. So thank you for watching and hope to see you at the next video. Bye.